DHL Stormers current head coach John Dobson has a very deep connection with DHL Newlands um, that I think a lot of people don't know. He has spent a lot of his life in Alma um, watching games over here. Let's go over and find out a little bit more about John Dobson's relationship with DHL Newlands. We all um, grew up in those scholars, those concrete scholars benches with our season ticket holders. We came ball boys there, which is uh, yeah, which was great fun. You know, those that you carried sand or the balls, and the balls went into the crowd. You weren't sure you're going to get them back, but we got. Thanks, remember we got one round fifty, a pie, and a cup of coffee. I used to go and watch my dad referee there. He wasn't. I don't think he was a very good referee, and there were some real characters as referees in those days. But uh, he was called Penalty Paul because uh, he was quite strict. He was a strict schoolmaster. And those chips, you know, I used to sit there at the scholars thing embarrassed because you, all those cliched old chats, you know, hey, ref, you're missing a good game. Or, hey, ref, where are your specs? Or, that's his guide dog. Or whatever this, you know, that sort of stuff. So that was quite, that was, that was, very, that was very entertaining. You know. um, I don't think my father's was to, was to test and only of late, maybe a provincial game, but certainly hasn't missed a test there since 19, 1949. So growing up there every single Saturday was somewhere in Newlands, um, he had me there. So obviously you grow up there and it's part of you. So I grew up properly enamored with Western Province rugby. So when you start coaching them, you just want to sort of try and maintain that sort of pride and, and join the team, you know, and, uh, amongst the people. I think the, the original sort of special, special uniqueness of Newlands was based around the proximity of the crowd. You know, the stadium, the stands are so steep. Um, it's changed a little bit now, but it, and it wouldn't pass many health and safety, but it was even more accentuated. I don't remember the standing room on the railway stand, which was famous, but the, obviously on the grandstand there was standing room and on the, on the train stand. These standing rooms, soccer it creates a special sort of vibe, and then you had the scholar seats the whole way around the field. And you literally, I can remember players crashing into the advertising boards below. You were so close to the ground. I mean, you kind of been a meter from the hooker throwing in, you know. So the crowd so close was a special thing of Newlands. And the way that grandstand was so steep above, if you were sitting on the upper level, you were looking right down on the play. So it was, it was that that was a that was a big thing. You know, I mean, it's enormous pride that we've probably been the best supported provincial team in world rugby for I don't know. I mean, time and memorial. Um, I think what's nice is that the um, the faithful now are really a more you know more embracing, more representative of the whole community of rugby in the Western Cape, which is great. But look, I'm not a, I've never played rugby at that level at that at that level. But the players talk about it, and you certainly feel it in the coaches' box. That noise of when Province or the Stormers get going, that whole surge that you get in that because Newlands is so tight. You know, there's not much noise; it's evaporating out the top. So the uh, what's nice is that the faithful have endured, you know, that they, they are really faithful. You know, they've gone through changes in terms of the rugby structure, in terms of the country, in the terms of the demographics of our support, everything, and the faithful are still there. No, look, the fact that, uh, you know, my dad, his greatest passion probably in his life outside of, you know, family and religion is Newlands, rugby in Newlands. So, you know, the fact that we should have been playing our last test today against Scotland would have been for him incredibly special. And it's quite sad that so many of us can't be there or we can't have the test or we can't be playing for Western Province of the Stormers in front of the faithful. Just a remind, stark reminder of how tragic this situation is. Um, but uh, I think we all know that that's not going to change the place that uh, DHL Newlands has got in our hearts.